try it. Right. Right. Yeah. You had to stop, right? Otherwise, you're going to you stop. You had, to, you had to stop coming back from Tonal Park. You had to stop. <coughs> but going to Tonal Park, you could emerge right off the tip of so the sweep. Okay, um, number 11, US 93, passing lane installation. Identify locations and install passing lanes on 93. So we know this is needed. Um, <coughs> 12, 93 Town of McGill safety improvements. So address safety and traffic concerns utilizing turn lanes, bike lanes, bypass along US 93 in the Town of McGill. And can we, don't can we go back any... to 11? Yes, sir. Is that 93 or 93? Is that supposed to be 93 South? Oh, on the, where it says route? For 11, because we have passing lanes on 93, but do we have any on 93 South? Like from... Well, the, whole, the whole passing lane thing is a statewide thing that they're doing right now, so. Okay. Yeah, there's two of them up there already. That have yeah, gone. well, three and one of them going to Curry too. Back well, then, you're saying all need them down south. Down south, there's nothing yeah. for me. Yeah. 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 There's, 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 there's two mm -hmm. more. There's two mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. Gill and Loggies. Mm -hmm. Come down off that. We have zero going down. Yeah. So I guess our area of need is between. Both Curry and that Curry. Yeah, way between Majors Junction South. Yeah, Majors. I have a question for you guys too. Um, fire chiefs, if any you add them. It, um, what about going up the Sacramento Pass area? Has, has there been anything significant up through there in regards? I'm going up. We've had a few wrecks down the other side, and most of them have been speed related. Okay. So animal again, related too. You know, animal or speed related. Once again, you can't fix those people when you. Stupid is sign up and read them. Yeah. I, I guess that was I just want I know we've had some fatalities. Yeah. Up, I don't up there. I don't think the juice would be worth the squeeze to put okay. a passing lane in that area. Just want just wanted to, to, yeah. to check out squeeze my other things for that one. I haven't been a while. <laughs> but along Adam's point, I think we need to prioritize from Ely to Las Vegas, be it ninety three and three eighteen, whatever. Those passing lanes have got to be put in there somewhere, there. or even BJ's idea of putting the third third lane. It's too, again, yeah. I can't reiterate enough, it's 250 stinking miles, and I, mm -hmm. I just as soon use some other language on that. But that has to be a priority way up there because 250 miles behind three semis is beyond aggravating. And you talk about causing an accident, people get antsy, they want to pass, and there's been a lot of accidents down around Sunnyside. That has to be, you guys have to put that as a priority. I when you go 47 miles from Ely to McGill and you got two passing lanes and you have zero going south from Ely to Las Vegas, that's ridiculous. There's the longest stretch in the United States without a passing lane. And I believe I'll probably be right if I said that. You know, to add to that, I, I have family in Vegas and I go all the time too. Um, I cannot tell you how many times if you have somebody in front of you that is trying to get around, or even and, and the semi, I can't tell you how many times I've had to go onto the shoulder mm -hmm. when they stop mm -hmm. because they're and, and on the other side of me too mm -hmm. because they, there's not enough room and, and people have a lot of frustration. Mm -hmm. I, I, how many times I've seen it and I've experienced myself, I, I honestly couldn't tell you the numbers that many. What was that major accident down between Heiko and uh, Vegas where a semi stalled traffic? I think it killed about four or five people, and there's no way to get around or go back, and they were stranded on that road for eight to ten hours. Yeah. Because it, and it just doesn't include White Pine County, it goes <coughs> into Lincoln County. Mm -hmm. It's 250 miles of ridiculous driving. I've had that happen to me on 95. Um, there's a lot of stretches in the state. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. It is unfortunate. I'm tired of reaching to the choir on that study. <laughs> Back you, they've been doing this for eight years. How do you quantify when people get impatient? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I know you get a lot more close calls <laughs> from uh, Alamo South than right. you do from Alamo North. Yeah. Yeah, that's Nothing not, in White Pine County, that's all in Lincoln County yeah. in the northern end of Clark. Yeah. That's where the passion lanes need to be put before they need to be put in White Pine County, in my opinion. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, between here and lines, I mean, there's yeah. the traffic too. I mean, there's sure if it's bad weather, you're going to get stuck behind somebody. But there's a lot of places to pass between here and 
um, Alamo, but from Alamo South, that traffic, I'm kidding you, it doubles it or doubles, even triples yeah. that. Yeah. And so that's where you really have the problem. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's in the, you know, Lincoln County and Clark. Just identify the highway, 93 and 318, yeah. all the way down, the two, all 250 miles. Put it in a freeway the whole way. And then <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Put I-11 straight up there. Have you heard of her saying the uh, 500 million deficit? <laughs> It don't matter. One <laughs> death is probably worth that. Might as well make her just a good round billion. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> With all the bridge it's stuff they want to do now, it probably is close yeah. to a billion. Yeah. yeah, you're right. One death is. But uh, one death uh, is around six million in, in societal cost, and we have 382 of those in the state. So that's way over that uh, 500 million. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I. Absolutely, we hear hear what you're saying, and I'm just, yeah. you know, I don't just work for NDOT, I'm also an employee, and like I mentioned, I live in the rurals, I commute 100 miles a day where I live, and I'm 95, and I've had three near head-on collisions myself um, in six months, all three individuals passing in a no-passing zone. Absolutely. So also keep in mind, we want to, we're trying to build our roads, but we also have driver behavior, which somebody in here said you can't build roads for stupid. Sorry, I didn't say that. But somebody in here did. <laughs> um, so, you know, we, we've got other issues too, the driver behavior and, and things that we can do. Also, the end up we can do when it comes to messaging. I know it doesn't reach everybody, but our director was in a meeting back in the fall, and, you know, she was... She was, I'm not going to say worked up, but she was passionate in, in talking about the fact that what can we do to also educate the public? You know, when you're speeding, when you're, you're passing me doing 15, 20 over, like I'm standing still, you're really saving, what, 30 seconds to 60 seconds total in your drive time? I mean, so just, it's, it's tough. So that's one of my asks from a traffic safety standpoint. It's right there. Talk to people and you start talking about speeding. Mm -hmm. Maybe have that con candid conversation. We don't know who we're gonna reach. Yeah, and we don't know yeah. what you know. Yeah, what collision we're gonna save. I know, and cool. that's my personal challenge to everybody in the state. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. and it's yeah. not going to fix it, but it may help and it might save. You know, try it and start. Yeah. It's it's eye opening. I'll say that, and I yeah. I mean, the things that I, I've experienced in those near head-on collisions, running out the road, and I, I have two young children, and yeah, so. Anyway, uh, where are we at? Tell McGill. Thank you. That's okay. Yeah, we were at McGill, and I know in the back we were talking about McGill, right? Okay. So, do we have any representation here from McGill? Not necessarily? No, okay. I'm just okay. Um, so, address safety and traffic concerns utilizing turn lanes, bike lanes, bypass. Curious about this. Can anybody speak to this? I talked to a lady every other day lives in McGill. Mm -hmm. You know, she talked about bike lanes, but I think the roads do near all together. Semi's come through there. You know, she likes the idea of the speed sign going to go up. I think something should involve with those speed signs, say like North McGill. These uh -huh. truckers are coming all the way from Wells. Yeah. They're in a trance. They're, they, you know, do they really pay attention to that? But if you put those rumble strips, yeah. maybe the, not the elevated ones, right? but the sunken ones, uh -huh. you might wake up.